everybody, this is Anthony with you again from Biblical Church Reality. I want to make a very quick video to um, confront this issue about wearing masks again. I know I made a couple of videos about that before, but uh, a lot of people make very stupid accusations about wearing masks. Like, uh, science proves that wearing a mask can be harmful to your health. And as Pastor Wagner, uh, a couple of videos I, I made exposing him before about his irrational, immature, uh, unbiblical statements, that uh, one of the statements he made, I'll show the screenshot at the end of the video, that uh, wearing a mask keeps you from breathing in fresh air. It does. It can be harmful to your health. There's no science to back that up. There's no science to support the idea that the idea of just the act of putting on a mask itself is hazardous to your health. But see, many people who are watching this and probably have are strongly anti-mask and stuff like that, you really believe, you really believe it's going to affect my health and keep me from breathing in fresh air. Well, let's test that theory. Let's test that just for a moment. Okay, I'm wearing a mask now. I can still breathe. The air I'm breathing smells no different, feels no different. I'm not feeling any different. I'm still breathing in fresh air, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. I'm not coming down with a fever. I'm not feeling lightheaded. I'm not feeling weak in the head. I'm not feeling faint or weak need, you know? Dehydrated, suffocated, nothing of the sort. So, what's the problem? <laughs> the problem is these people are egotists and they're anti-authority and anti-law. They don't want anybody telling them what to do. I challenge anybody to show me anywhere in scripture where it teaches against wearing masks. I mean it. Show me in the Bible, the King James Bible right here. Show me anywhere in this entire book where it speaks against the idea of wearing a mask. I mean, surely you're not afraid to show me scripture, are you? You're not afraid of that, are you? Show me where it says wearing a mask is wrong. I challenge you to show me. I've been challenging people for some time and nobody could show me. You know why? Because they want to exalt their opinions like that's final authority and that's despicable. We cannot live by our opinions and feelings. We have to live by scripture and what it says. This is the standard, the Bible. Not what your pastor said, not what Pastor Wagner said, not what Anthony says. This is the book right here. If wearing a mask is so bad, why don't you show me scripture that's saying it's evil to cover your face? But let's, let's, uh, let's turn aside for a moment and let's talk about the idea that it keeps you from breathing in fresh air. It can be poisonous to your health. It can suffocate you. Really, because I've worked for... Oh, for a while now, at my daytime job, I have two jobs, at my daytime job, and the requirement is to wear a mask. I don't wear it outside because of the heat. Now, in the heat, um, it's very hot outside. So wearing a mask could bring more heat and cause me, you know, to get more sweaty and stuff like that. That is true, yes. But would that cause me to suffocate just because of the fact that I'm wearing a mask? No, no. <laughs> um, but if it is true that wearing a mask keeps you from breathing in fresh air and can suffocate you and can make you nauseous whenever it is, whatever reasons they want to give, well, I wore a mask at my daytime job for many, many months. And you know what? I've never suffocated. I've never fainted. I've never became lightheaded. I've never passed out. I've never became nauseous. And it did not keep me from breathing in fresh air. Did not whatsoever. But if it is true that it keeps you from breathing in fresh air, then the following things would have to be true also. You see, that's the problem. Consistency is not based on these anti-mask uh, mentality. It's not. No consistency at all. They don't think about this. But think about this for a moment. Don't shut me off. Think about it. If wearing a mask by itself, the act, just a simple act of putting on a mask, if this stops me, from breathing in fresh air, which would also lead to the conclusion of suffocating me, the following scenarios would also have to be true. 
Do you notice where I am? In a room, in a closed room. If wearing a mask keeps you from breathing in fresh air and can be hazardous and suffocating you, then it's wrong for me to be inside this room because that would suffocate me too. Also, it's wrong to be inside your car because that's closing off the air too. To a point, that is. <laughs> well, if that's also true, then it must be wrong to wear a motorcycle helmet that covers your whole head. That's keeping you from breathing in fresh air too. Also, it'd be wrong to go into space. You know, there's no oxygen in space, basically to breathe in. That means it's sinful to be an astronaut because that whole equipment they have to wear, they cover themselves. Well, that's blocking fresh air too. You see, it's very inconsistent and stupid what these anti-mask people are thinking. They have no consistency. They don't think about any of this. So, once again, if, if wearing a mask right here suffocates you and keeps you from breathing in fresh air, then it's wrong to be inside a room. It's wrong for you to be inside of a car. It's wrong to wear a motorcycle helmet. It's wrong to be an astronaut and go into space. It's wrong. It's evil. Yep. So all of you people who are church building goers, which I do not support church buildings, but all of you go to a church building, it's, it will be wrong to go in there too. Because that will keep you from breathing in fresh air. You see, there's no consistency in their arguments. They want to hammer on this, but they, didn't want, they don't want to hammer on the other things I listed. You know why? They're stupid, and they're anti-authority, and they resent the government telling them what to do which that's against Romans 13. So all of you anti-mask people out there, there is no science, no science, to support the idea that this can be hazardous to your health. No science to back it up. If there was, provide it. And just because a dopey, half-educated, goofy doctor says it could, does not mean he's right. Just because he wears a white coat doesn't mean he's right. Okay, so all of you anti-mask people out there, the main reason why you are, you refuse to wear a mask is because you do not want any government telling you what to do. You have a rebellious, stiff-necked heart, and God hates it. Listen, do I think this is going overboard, the mask thing? Sure. Is it sinful? No. There's no scripture and no logical sense to conclude that it's wrong. They're not telling me to renounce Christ. They're not telling me to throw my Bible away and quit my uh, lifestyle in honoring God by keeping His commandments and having the faith of Jesus. No, they're simply asking me to put on a mask. That's it. That's it. They're not telling me to renounce my faith for God's sake. <laughs> also, I was thinking about this while making my video about masks. That it's funny because Pastor... Weiner and many people like him want to hoot and holler and protest about a picture like this putting masks on kids. Well, along with those other examples to show the inconsistency and stupidity of their argument, they want to make this an issue. However, how about this, Pastor Weiner? Would you protest against this? I mean, in the winter time. It does get cold, and they do recommend for children to wear a scarf over their face so they don't get cold. Are you going to protest against this? I mean, to be consistent with your argument that masks can suffocate a child and, and they keep them from breathing in fresh air, well, then what about this? Huh? I bet you don't have a response to this. You would probably make some cowardly, you know double standard answer like, well, it's because of the weather. That's why they had to wear a face mask. It doesn't matter. If a school mandated for all children to wear a scarf over their face in the wintertime to keep them from breathing in the cold air so they don't get sick, would you protest against this because there was a mandate from the school? Or are you going to show a double standard and make an um, exception for it, which would reveal yourself to be a hypocrite. You want to protest this, but you will not protest this. Probably not. If you were to do that, then you are actually putting the health of a child at risk. So it is you who would be 
endangering, endangering the health of a child and their safety, overall well-being. It will be you who is endangering a child. So this does not endanger a child at all. By the way, like I said before in the video, they're not requiring that children wear these things outside or 24-7. They're only requiring for them to be wearing these masks when they're, other, when they're around other kids. So you'll protest this, but once more, would you protest this? Hypocrite, Pastor Weiner. You probably won't answer that, will you? Also, as a side note, how about surgeons wearing face masks before they do surgery? Would you say that's wrong too? Suppose they mandated that every surgeon has to wear a face mask. Why do they do that? So their bodily fluids does not get on the patient. Well, would you protest that and say that's wrong because there was a mandate? Would you really want a surgeon not to wear a face mask or any kind of face gear before they do surgery on you? Really? Are you really that stupid? Huh. Pastor Weiner does not have a response to these things. No, he doesn't. And by the way, uh, somebody else asked me, I forget, I, I forget his name, Marco or something like that. Basically, he was asking me, are you going to take the vaccination too? I don't know if he was sarcastic in his question, I'm just saying. Uh, vaccinations are not simple either. There is no scripture, there is no scripture to prove that vaccinations are wrong. In fact, the Bible does talk about medication and medicine. Lord willing, I'll be doing a video on that. If vaccinations are wrong, if they are evil, and simple well then so are medication now some people want to argue the point well Anthony they're just putting the virus the whole point of the vaccine is to put the virus inside of you and that's not honoring to God uh, how is that against God's Word I mean the, the the whole point of the vaccination is to help you now it is true that many people have died from it from from uh, a, um, a bad effect to it and also the side effects but just like the notion that people get killed in cars almost every day, does that mean cars are sinful? Because people die from it? People die from driving cars and get into accidents? No, doesn't mean that at all. So you can't just throw that argument and paint a broad brush, you know, across the board and say, well, vaccinations are wrong because some people die from it. Well, so what? I mean, it's sad they die from it, but you know, that doesn't make it, sin sin that doesn't make it sinful. So vaccinations are not against scripture. Because the whole point is not to poison you, but to help you fight it off. I think that's illogical and stupid, but there's nothing sinful about it. It's just not necessary. It's actually kind of dumb. So would I take the vaccination? Not voluntarily, no. Because I don't believe it's necessary. I practice social distancing. And matter of fact, I don't socialize with about anybody. <laughs> My wife and I, by God's grace, thank God we had never got COVID-19. But see, many people that go out there on public beaches and they want to get around big crowds of people and then they wonder why the COVID-19 cases are going back up in number again. Well, duh. <laughs> so, would I take the vaccination? If it became mandatory, yes, I would. Why? Romans 13. Again, the vaccination is not the mark of the beast. It's, it's not, they're not telling me to renounce Christ, not telling me to renounce my faith. They're telling me simply to take a vaccine. If it became mandatory, then yes, I would take it to obey the government. There's nothing sinful about taking a vaccine. The point is to help you. They're not trying to poison you to kill you. That's not what they're doing. It's not like the Nazis in a concentration camp putting people in a closed room and poisoning them to death. It's not what they're doing. They have no intention of purposely trying to kill people with a vaccination. There's, that's, that's, that's conspiracy. There's no evidence to, to support that. The whole point behind the vaccine, though illogical as it is, is to give you the, the virus so then your body can help fight it off. Do I think it's stupid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it necessary? No. But if it became mandatory, I would take it. Listen, the vaccination, the, a microchip, the barcode, etc., or whatever else people want to say and use, is not the mark of the beast. It's a, the mark of the beast is an actual mark. It's not a chip. 
It's not, not a vaccination. It's not a barcode. <laughs> it's not the number 666. That's not the, num that's not the mark of the beast either. <sighs> People need to learn to read their Bibles better and pay better attention to it. So yes, I would take the vaccine if it was mandatory. But until it is, I'm not taking it because it's not necessary. So, wearing a mask is not evil. It's not against God's word. There's no scripture that gives any implication of it. Vaccinations are not sinful. If you want to take the vaccination, more power to you. But don't try to be a self-righteous Pharisee and try to be anti-mask, anti-vaccine, try to preach that the conspiracy theory and stuff like that. You need to shut up because all you're doing is causing people to be rebels against authority. And you're also trying to scare everybody, which that makes you an egotist. So, brethren, just one more time. Wearing a mask is not evil. It does not keep me from breathing in fresh air. It does not stop me from living and going to my job and functioning every day. It doesn't. Because they're, they're not saying you have to wear it 24-7. They're saying to wear it when you're in public around a bunch of other people or in going to a public store. That's all they're saying. They're not saying you have to wear it at, at your own home. <laughs> Come on. They're not saying you have to wear it 24-7. Quit exaggerating, and getting a vaccination in is not sinful. So, brethren, with that being said, do what the government says. Don't be stupid and be anti-authority. Don't do that. That's dishonoring to God, and that angers him. Romans 13 is very, very clear. See my video about Romans 13. You resist authority, you shall receive damnation to yourself. Yeah. Love the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God to keep his commandments, obey the government until... And unless they tell you to violate scripture and read and believe the King James Bible. Thanks.